Hi, I'm Liz Corbett, host of the TV show Playing With Food. Have you ever made a shrimp appetizer with raw shrimp? Are you afraid of raw shrimp? They're so cute, these little crustaceans, and they're delicious too. So we are going to take the mystery out of fixing fresh seafood while we visit our local grocery store. Here we are at ShopRite, Miller Farms Family Markets, and we're going to talk to Barbara in the seafood department. Inquiring minds want to know more about shrimp and other seafood delights. Hi, Barbara. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Liz. Good morning. Good morning. We have a few basic questions for you that the general public wants to know about coming into a seafood department at their local grocery store. Okay. And specifically shrimp, because I'm going to be preparing a shrimp appetizer. So, Barbara, I'm planning on making a coconut shrimp with a dipping sauce. What would be the benefit of buying raw shrimp versus cooked for using in a recipe, in a cooked recipe? What's okay. the benefit of that? Uh, the benefit with the raw shrimp is you're, if you're going to batter it like that, it's not going to overcook. Unless your recipe calls for a cooked shrimp, I would definitely use a raw shrimp. So raw shrimp is yes. probably the way to go for yes. that. That's Absolutely. great. That's great. And now, a good size shrimp. It, we, we had a little peek at the at the shrimp earlier. Some people might be a little put off by handling it and doing you know what you need to do to prep it for a recipe. Um, tell us a little bit more about uh, peeling and deveining a shrimp. What is that and is that something that you could have done at the grocery store? Yes, most grocery stores offer that service um, or you, they do sell a peeled and deveined shrimp. Um, the ones that are not peeled and deveined are actually called easy peel and they're split down the back, so all you really have to do is, is snip the end and pull the skin right off. So it's, it's not very difficult. easy. No, very it's easy. not difficult at all. It wouldn't take you long at all to do a I whole bunch of I could do a two-pound two pound bag in 10 minutes. Wow, that's awesome. Well, yeah, so that, yeah, that's a goal for us. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, we're not going to just be uh, looking at shrimp. There's lots of other varieties of seafood that are offered in grocery stores in the seafood department. What do you think is probably the most popular kind of fish that people buy? What's the, What's the... Uh, well, the one that people come in for the most. Uh, salmon is our top seller, mm -hmm. um, is the top seller. The um, omega-3s and all the benefits of all that, yes. um, it is one of the top sellers. It's a little stronger of a fish versus a haddock or a cod. Those are oh, milder. Okay. But definitely a salmon is the, is the most popular. So like you had said, the others are milder. If someone is um, maybe new to adding some seafood, especially for children, into their, their family menu, what would be the milder ones to go with? Cod, haddock, flounder, uh, tilapia, those are all really mild fishes. And it basically what you put on it is going to be the flavor of the fish, with a little hint of the fish. What do you think is the easiest way to prep fish? Say if you were to get some tilapia. Um, tilapia, you can bake. Seafood is actually really easy to cook. Um, baking, searing, it's very easy. It doesn't take long at all. It's a quick dinner. It's, you can do dinner in 10 to 20 minutes. Oh, that sounds awesome. beginning to the end, yep. And I, I would say that that's going to taste a whole lot better than something that's processed. Yes, something that's frozen, absolutely. And absolutely. better for and you. More, yes, better for you. More nutritionist. Now, let's talk about a couple of other seafood items. I happen to love scallops. And they come in a couple of different sizes. There are bay scallops and sea scallops. Very simply, what is the difference between the two? Uh, bay are smaller in size, and they're not as sweet and tender as a sea scallop. Sea scallops are, are bigger, and you can sear those, and absolutely, they're nice and sweet and, and tender. What do you think are the most common for, say, an appetizer? Uh, definitely sea scallops. Yeah, they're definitely bigger and they sea. have a little more, yes. a little more yes. visual appeal. They make great uh, scallops wrapped in bacon. Mm, so, yeah. Bacon. That's <laughs> a know. whole other episode. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Barbara. We You're really welcome. appreciate your time. And I am going to have to find some things to put on my shrimp. Maybe some cocktail sauce, some tartar sauce. I'm going to go on a hunt now and find that. Thank you so much for joining us.